Arjun Erigaisi makes his way to the board, shakes hands with the strongest female player active on the planet today, Ho Yifan, and shakes again. <laughs> Small uh, misunderstanding there, but we are ready to rock. D4 by Arjun opens the game with a queen pawn. Ho Yifan takes her time, brings her knight out. Now Arjun is well known for his D4 openings. He goes knight to C3. Is he planning to play the Jobawa London, which was popularized by Grandmaster Badur Jobawa? Yes, he plays it, brings his bishop out to f4. The world used to say, don't put your knight on c3, it blocks the c-pawn. But Jobawa, who was an extremely creative player, said, I don't think the knight is poorly placed. It can go to b5, it can fork you here. Well, Yifan stops it, but in doing so, her knight on a6 is not so well placed but it's all theory she develops her bishop to e7 arjun plays his pawn up to a4 and now black simply castles how does arjun continue a good way is to put his bishop on d3 but first he begins with knight f3 and now knight h5 yufan attacks the bishop arjun protects it and provokes f6 and then comes back and his point is that if you now take on g3, you have weakened your king side very slightly with the pawn push to f6. Okay, the bishop moves in to d3. And Yifan now puts her pawn to g6, just blocking the diagonal, taking away any possibilities of bishop takes h7. Stuff happening. Queen comes up to e2. And now the queen jumps to a5. Now the threat is to play c4 and pick up the knight when the rook would be hanging. So Arjun cleverly castles. Knight takes g3 has happened here. And well, you generally take with the h pawn. You want to capture towards the center, not with the f pawn. But Arjun taking his time, making sure that that's the right recapture. He takes it back. Now black has the bishop pair. And in fact, Yifan sees an opportunity to win a pawn so she pushes the bishop back to c2 and tells arjun that now after bishop b5 a b5 queen b5 you are going to be a pawn down where is arjun's compensation is a big question so queen takes b5 has happened and now b2 is hanging should arjun save it not really he goes e4 and his point is if you take here that after e takes d5 the bishop is hanging so that's why Yifan defends it with rook f7 and Arjun attacks with b3. You can't take it because the queen is hanging. And so you have to protect the queen. Knight c7 is a fine move. White is a pawn down, but in return has great compensation. B takes c4 and she takes with the queen. Now you don't want to trade the queens. Bishop d3. You can't take this pawn because after rook c1, Knight is hanging, so Yifan quickly moves her queen back and Arjun pushes forward with c4. a6 is played so that the rook can move away from a8. But now look at these strong pawns in the center. Arjun playing pretty well. He has 11 minutes 54 seconds while Yifan is down to 5 minutes on her clock. Rook moves to c1. And I think this overall pressure in the center is definitely quite stressful for black to handle it. but Yifan is doing a brilliant job she moves her queen back to d7 you can see now that e5 square would be a wonderful outpost for the knight and so Arjun goes g4 his plan can be to play g5 and then soften up the e5 square so if g5 Yifan can be in some trouble but you know this is what Arjun does very well he mixes things up first g4 then rook b1 and now after b5 is played he has new avenues to attack. He first takes on b5, a, b. And look at this. There's a tactic here. You can take here because after knight b5, bishop b5, there is trouble brewing. But after rook b5, there is d takes e4. And unfortunately, the rook would be hanging this way. So first, Arjun needs to take care of this tension that is occurring here. And that's why he plays e5. Very smart. Because if now Yifan pushes f5, then rook takes b5 would be very powerful after take, take and rook b5, white is just better. So Yifan very carefully goes rook b8 and after take, take g5, Arjun now brings his knight to the center 
and gets an important bishop. So although black is currently a pawn up, white has the grip in the center. But this is brilliant defense from the strongest female player on the planet. She wants to play queen d6. g3 played by Arjun and he's playing it calmly. Do you exchange the queens? Generally, when you are material down, you don't want to trade. So he comes back to e2 and puts pressure on b5. Yifan says, that's my pawn. I'm not giving it up. King g2. Now Arjun wants to swing his rook over to h1 if he gets this opportunity. But it seems like his compensation is running out here. He needs to be resourceful. Yifan has 1 minute 57 seconds. Arjun has 6 minutes 10 seconds. That's to his benefit here. The time is to his advantage. But there's no real threat as such for now. Uh, Hu Yifan goes back queen e7 attacking the pawn on g5 and so he comes up queen e5 maybe if queen d6 is played now he can take take and win the pawn on b3 so for Yifan it's not so easy to trade queens and so she goes rook to g7 Arjun can move his rook back to c1 which is what he does he brings his rook here he is he has some ideas of rook c5 bringing the other rook to c1 and so on very interesting stuff, but Yifan goes b2 and she's like, okay, Arjun, you can win the pawn after rook c2. I'm fine with it, but Arjun says I'll go rook c5 first. White has started to get a good grip on the position. Also, if you see the knight here, misplaced. Now rook h1. What's the plan with rook h1? Well, I'm not really sure. Maybe it's just to make Yifan bleed on time. Rook a5 played. And Ho Yifan give, brings the queen to trade and Arjun takes it. Queen takes, rook takes and brings the rook to b1. The rook defends it and the other rook comes in, which means that the pawn is going to be lost. But it will only equalize the material. It's not going to change so much. f4 played to prevent the e5 break. For now, the position is roundabout even. Arjun will win back his pawn as he does with his rook. Rook takes rook, rook takes rook and the game should end in a draw logically but Arjun is a player who never really gives up he keeps fighting he takes on at six king at six now g6 is a small weakness if you can get in with your rook from behind bring your king up that's something to play for first he brings his king to f3 what does Hu Yifan do she brings her king back she needs to improve her knight somehow maybe 98 96 something like that but rook comes to b7 first pinning the knight 40 seconds left there is a 10 second increment but often in time pressure things can go wrong so king comes to g4 now if you move the knight somewhere it is possible but after take take king g5 you will lose the g6 pawn this is how arjun keeps building the pressure so she goes king f6 and now arjun goes from behind he wants to attack g8 rook g7 played stopping rook g8 and now rook to h8 pressure 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 White knight is almost dominated, can't go here, can't go here, can't go here. And so Yifan blunders with g5. She thinks that after takes, takes, it's fine for her. But rook at 6 check is something she has missed. Because there's no rook g6, bishop controls it and Arjun finds it. And there you can see Yifan knows that she has blundered. Fg5, the g pawn is ultra strong. It can go to g6, rook at 7. Knight comes to e8, but this is already losing now. Arjun can convert it. At leisure, he can bring his king here, maybe push the pawn to g6, bring the king to e5, rook at 7. These are all the moves that are on the cards. King f4 played and knight comes to d6. But this is such a big blunder. This move g5, Yifan has no way to come out of it. And uh, Arjun can even trade the rooks with rook at 7. But he first builds pressure. Knight to f6 and maybe can we push the pawn to g5 as well? Yes, he does. He pushes it away. I think Yifan must go to d7 so that king e5 is no longer possible. She plays it. But what about rook at 7 now? That's just very, very strong. But Arjun taking his time. He has two minutes on hand to figure this out. He goes rook at seven, rook h8. He doesn't trade the rooks. And he tells Yifan, your rook can't move. Your knight hardly has space. Goes to b6. And maybe it's time to now... Attack the knight even further. Yeah, with rook b8 perhaps. 
वन मिनट ट्वेंटी सेकेंड फॉर अर्जुन to find the winning blow here he has things under control he goes rook at 7 trading the rooks is a good idea king comes into e5 this is hanging and now this is all over there is just e6 falling king f6 coming in actually and knight c4 check is played but well king f6 is just game over he brings his king in and ho yi fan resigns the game arjun eri guys see manages to kind of swindle his opponent and uh, as he fun tells him that shouldn't play g5 there i shouldn't have played uh and there they are discussing the game as is always the case with arjun always loves to analyze with his opponents but ho yi fan what a strong player she is she was under pressure throughout the game but she made sure to hang on until the bitter end it might have ended in draw but arjun never gives up as we know and manages to beat the world number 1 currently the strongest and the highest rated player on the planet